Dawn Parade by Philippa Weary Illustrated by Jennifer Cooper It was very dark. The house was quiet. Wake up, Leo, said Dad. Wake up. It's time to go to the dawn parade. Leo got up and put on some warm clothes. Dad pinned a poppy onto Leo's jacket. He gave Leo a torch to carry, and then he and Leo tiptoed out the back door. Leo had never been to a dawn parade before. Is it very far, Dad, he asked. It's at the war memorial, Dad said. They walked down the road, past the dark houses. The sky was black. There were lots of people at the war memorial. Everyone waited. Everyone was quiet. Then, tramp, 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 came the sound of marching feet. The marchers swung their arms and looked straight ahead. Their faces were solemn. Their medals glinted under the streetlights. The marchers stopped at the memorial. A woman wearing a heavy gold chain stepped forward and said a karakia. She's the mayor, whispered Dad. Some people walked up to the memorial carrying flowers. Then a man read a poem and the people in the crowd joined in. At the going down of the sun and in the morning... We will remember them. Leo didn't know the words, so he just listened. Leo watched as a man in uniform began to play a bugle. He's playing the last post, whispered Dad. The music floated up into the early morning sky. It sounded sad. Afterwards, everyone was very still. Nobody said a word. Then a band played the national anthem and everyone sang. Leo knew the words, so he joined in. The service was over. The marchers tramped away and the other people started to leave. Can we go and look at the memorial, please, Dad? asked Leo. Leo gazed at the long lists of names carved into the stone. All those people died in the wars, Dad said. That's a lot of names, said Leo. Yes, it is. And they all used to live around here, said Dad. We remember them every year on Anzac Day. Leo saw lots of poppies lying among the flowers. Dad put his poppy down too. So did Leo. Dad and Leo walked home again. I hope no one else dies in wars, Dad, said Leo. Me too, said Dad. Me too. The sky was orange and red. Look, Leo, Dad said. Here comes the dawn.
Why do we have dawn parades? After the First World War, soldiers wanted to remember their friends who had died. They decided to meet at dawn because it is a peaceful, quiet time. It was also at dawn when the Australian and New Zealand soldiers landed on the beach at Gallipoli. That day was the 25th of April, 1915, the day we now call Anzac Day. Why do we wear poppies on Anzac Day? In the First World War, poppies grew in the fields where soldiers had died. A soldier called John McRae wrote a poem about poppies. Now they are worn to remember the people who have died in wars.